Welcome back to another review, and today I want to take a look at... Ooh, ooh, the Oculus Quest. There have been many reviews about Oculus Quest, and I'm not going to do a tech review because there are so many out there and they're so much better, obviously. But I want to take a look at this in terms of animation and what you could put on there that might be helpful or useful or fun that is animation related. That being said, if you've never seen this before, I'm going to do a quick unboxing so you can see what you get when you buy this. So let me unwrap this. There you go. Now that it's not shiny anymore, you have a better look. This is the case. This comes out, so you have that box that gives you stuff on the back. Then in here, you can open this up, boop, empty box. And ooh, brand new in here. So far, no dog hair in there, but sometimes I get things and there's my dog's hair everywhere. I don't know how he does this. So you have the headset, boop, boop. Before you start, install the app, sure, which I did already. And then here you got the lensy stuff. Take this out. And then here you have your controllers. And since I noticed already, there is a magnetic cap where you can take this off. You slide it off and you got to put in batteries. So I'm going to put in my rechargeable batteries because this is not USB chargeable. There you go. Label left, take this off. Has a magnetic little snappy snap. Stuff this back in here, and then there's this. Let me take this out. And in here is another box that you can open up. And that's your charger, USB-C. You got an extra divider for the glasses. And then you got a very long USB-C cable. This goes into your headset, so it's angled, so it goes down, and it's very, very long, and that's it. There you go, these are the contents of the Oculus Quest. Let's bring it back out again. There you go, and it has also a springy thingy to put it on your face. There you go, and then down here you have an adjustment in terms of volume and the uh, lens distance here. It smells so new, it's weird, right? smelling tech or something. What I like this, it's very compact, it's very easy to use. I used this before, this is my second one. I gave my other one to my brother, because he and his daughters liked it so much, so early Christmas present. Useless information, no one needs to know that. So I used that before and I'm a massive, massive fan in terms of you can put it anywhere and then you can track your garden wall so that you don't bump into walls and furniture and stuff. So it's very, very easy to set up, very compact and light. It's very comfy as well. What can you do with this in terms of animation? That's a good question, JD from 2019. And here I am, JD from 2020, to answer that question. Because ever since the Oculus Quest came out, there have been so many updates that made the headset better and better. And one of the cool things is Oculus Link. Because without that, you have the Quest, and you got the Quest library, and you have lots of cool games and experiences, lots of cool stuff, I'm a big fan. But for instance, you can't use Quill. Quill is an Oculus Rift and Oculus Rift S exclusive title. With the Oculus Link, you can connect your Quest to your VR-ready machine and have access to all of the Oculus library and also Steam VR. So if you check out Oculus and you have it plugged in, you can see that your quest is now active and that gives you access to all of this, depending on what you bought, of course, like Quill. So Quill is a program that you can use to animate and you can also use Anim VR. I haven't used Quill yet and I haven't used Anim VR yet. So that's going to be clips in the future where I take specific animation programs for VR in VR and try them out and do a review about it. Now, the cool thing is you also have access to Steam VR. So if you use Steam VR and you launch it, that gives you access to your Steam library with all the amount of games that I have and never play. But one of them would be Anim VR. There's Virtual Animator. And I'm going to do some research to see what else is out there. If you know about a VR program that does animation as well, be it Oculus or Steam, let me know in the comments. I'm curious. I want to compile a nice big list and review all these programs because I love VR. It's very exciting and I'm very curious to see how it translates to animate in VR. A lot of it is also 2D, which I am horrible at. So it's going to be a, a very interesting experience. But some of these are also for 3D models and you can animate kind of like you animate in Maya, but in VR. So I want to try all of these. 
So how do you set this up? Again, I have a link in the description with my favorite YouTubers about the Quest and they have many, many updates in terms of how you set up the Quest with the cable and Oculus software and SteamVR. Because things change every now and then, you have to update your software a lot. There are always new little quirks that show up. So instead of me doing something that's gonna be outdated in a couple days, check out the description to those YouTubers and they publish a ton of really awesome, very informative clips that will give you a step-by-step -step guide in terms of how to set this up. So I keep talking about the Oculus Link headset cable. So let's go back to 2019 JD when this came in the mail. <laughs> All the sides and angles. All right, before that, I used this cable by Anchor. It is fairly long too, but as it goes to the back of my computer, it's only three meters. So I could technically take the computer out and turn it, but ultimately it's not that long. If I go back, take that chair out here. It kind of works. But I'm just left in the middle of the room, but I can't go all the way to the back because in this office, if I push the couches off to the wall, it's a fairly big play space. But I did use Anchor, which worked totally fine. Technically, you could add an extension cable, which I did, but then the Oculus Link connection was flashing in and out. It wasn't quite working. Probably user error. Probably also just I had to update and probably do something. But anyway, I didn't want to get this, even though it's a lot more money, but it's just one cable, sturdy, five meters. I want to test this out. Probably in a couple of weeks or maybe a month to do probably sooner third party uh, cable manufacturers who have now looked at the official specs of this uh, they'll probably release their own five meter cables that are much much cheaper so in here you have that little what? destroying ripping take this out You got that cable and that's kind of it. You have a set up your link headset cable and warranty book that no one ever reads. And then insulation is all fairly simple. From this, step one, step two, step three. I mean, you plug it into the headset, you plug it into the computer, it's fairly simple. This thing is massive. Take this off. There you go. There's one end, headset, end because it has that L shape again very very long the lasso anyway so I'm gonna test that out I want to go through and test Quill and Adam VR and all the other animation specific programs and do single reviews for each one of them if you get to quest you saw what's in the package and by now if you updated everything you have finger tracking in beta form it's very promising and you have different options for oculus link cable so you can play rift s games and even steam VR games now they have my dog. Indy, come here. Come here. Oh, good boy. That's it for this video. This time we'll all say bye, Indy and I. Indy, you wanna you wanna say goodbye? <laughs> He's so cute. That's it. So easily bored. Again, that's it. A quick overview of what's inside the Oculus Quest package, the cables you can get and everything, but link in the description with all the information about the setup and Oculus Link and all that good stuff by other people who do a much better job than me, but that's it. So if you watch the whole thing, as always, thank you for watching, appreciate it. If you don't wanna miss anything, hit that subscribe button and the bell button to get a notification for all the uploads, you know the whole drill, but that's it from me. And I will say goodbye and see you in my next clip.